Hi everyone, so welcome to another university academic video. This one is all about conferences and is it better to put in for a conference poster or a conference talk? So hi, if you're new to the channel, my name is Caroline. I am a UK based physics lecturer. And it's that time of year again when my students and I, we are starting to put in abstracts for the next round of conferences. And something that always comes up is when you're submitting your conference abstract to try to you know, share your research, is it better to ask the organisers for a conference poster or to try to get one of those conference presentation slots? Now, there are pros and cons to both of these and sometimes I would choose to go for a poster and sometimes I would choose to go for a talk. Sometimes it's a really obvious choice which one to go for and sometimes it's more complex and, and tricky. So usually if I've got a early career researcher, so somebody may be doing a master's or maybe in the first year of their PhD, and it's their very first conference, quite often we'll put in for a poster. Um, it allows the student to go to the conference, to network, to meet other people, to see how the talk structures work without the pressure of having to give a talk at their very first conference. Not always, sometimes we've had students go off and they've had to, for various reasons, give talks straight away. Um, but if possible, we try to kind of ease students in to the kind of the conference framework. And actually a poster is a really nice way of doing that. Sometimes if we have a really good research result or, you know, it's a research result that I think is going to be applicable or of interest to a large part of that conference community, I will put in for a presentation. Um, you know, I think sometimes the conference organisers, when they look down the list, they're looking for a mix between um, abstracts that are going to do submissions that are kind of wide reaching to lots of the conference participants and maybe kind of more focused abstracts that maybe only a few people might be working on. And they try to, I guess, balance the oral sessions to have that mix of these kind of broader scope, wider reaching topics and some more of the focus topics. And so if I'm sitting on some research that I think is applicable to a lot of people at the conference, I will give it a go and I will try to get a conference presentation slot. One thing to say about these slots is, um, often you don't get to decide. <laughs> so some of the conferences I go to, they ask, which is your preference? You know, would you like to have a poster or would you prefer to have a presentation? And they take the preference into account, but you don't necessarily get allocated your preferred choice. Um, so quite often, you know, you might put in for a presentation and actually the presentation slots might be used up very quickly by other speakers and you might get allocated a poster. So sometimes people say, is it better to put in for a presentation, knowing that you might slide to a poster instead, rather than to put in for a poster, and then am I going to, if I don't get my poster slot, slide out of the conference altogether? And I think in the past maybe, especially within the sciences, presentations were viewed I don't know, is somehow preferential or you know, the preferred mechanism to share research over having a poster within the poster session. I think that's slowly starting to change um, and that actually poster sessions are becoming a really dynamic space to be able to interact, chat with the conference participants and uh, have more time to discuss the research than maybe you get in the conference presentation. I do reckon that COVID and the pandemic kind of changed this dynamic slightly. Um, so when I used to go to conferences pre-pandemic, the poster session was definitely getting a bit more of a, a buzz to it. You know, people were coming around, there was often drinks and nibbles and people were spending longer chatting at posters and, and talking about the research. I think that when the pandemic hit, moving posters online was really difficult. You know, we had poster sessions online that were just very awkward. And I had researchers and colleagues that would sit in a virtual room with their poster, sort of just waiting for somebody to turn up. Um, and it's not like a conference where there would be like passing traffic going past your poster and it might just catch somebody's eye 
out of curiosity or randomly and they'd come and have a chat with you. In the online setting, people had to really choose to come and talk to you in the virtual room about your poster. So I think online, when the conference is online, I definitely prefer to opt where possible for a presentation because I just think it's an easier way to share my research in these online poster rooms. Maybe that's my experience. Maybe you've been to conferences and the online posters have been really, really good. I've always found those sessions just a bit odd and a bit strange. Um, but if it's a physical conference and we're meeting in person, actually sometimes I'll opt for a poster session over a presentation because I think I'm going to get more chance to chat to people who are interested in the research. So, so these days, when it comes down to recommending which one to go for with my student team, um, I think if it's somebody at the start of their career and they've not been to many conferences, sometimes that poster is a nicer entry point to get used to the event, used to networking, used to how conferences kind of work and their structure without the pressure of needing to give a presentation yourself. I think as researchers go through their studies, so definitely for the later years of your PhD, it's really good to be actually presenting your research. Um, and I do really encourage my students to put in for presentations rather than put in for posters. And for me personally now, as a, as a lecturer, you know, I tend to look at the conference and I look at what research that I'm wanting to share. I look at the format of the conference. Is it online? Is it in person? Um, and I make a judgment whether I want a poster submission or a presentation submission based on both the research and the conference environment. Now, personally, I do like a presentation. You know, it's, it's good. You've got an allocated time slot. You know, you're going to get the stage for that particular bit of time. Um, there's always the pressure. Will anybody turn up to watch your presentation? Um, sometimes it can be a bit disheartening if you're in a session and there's loads of people watching the first couple of presentations and then you get up to give your presentation and then half the room kind of sneaks out the back door. But I think you just get used to conferences. You get used to people coming and going in and out of presentation slots. Um, See, so yeah, I, I like a presentation because I can share the information quickly and concisely that I want to get across about my research. And then if people are interested, quite often we'll have a chat in the networking sessions or the tea and coffee sessions afterwards. Um, so, yeah, I like both formats, conference presentations and posters. I guess at this stage of my career, I tend to lean more towards the presentation as a, as a preference. Uh, obviously, it's wonderful when you get invited to give a presentation. Um, I'm very fortunate. I've had a few of those, you know, pre and post changing my research direction. I've been able to go and give invited talks. That's fantastic because, you know, you're going to get a nice talk slot. The other cool thing about a poster is that you can have next to your poster, you know, A4 sheets. Um, which have your poster in mini form, if you like, that people can take away. They have your contact details. Um, again, the pandemic has changed this. You know, it used to be physical paper copies. These days, lots of people like take photographs of the posters if they're allowed to, to kind of snapshot the research and the information. Um, so the poster does have that way that you can leave information about your work without actually needing to physically be near your poster all the time. And obviously that's something you can't do with a talk. Um, so quite often if I put a poster up at a conference, I'll leave some cards nearby or I'll leave some kind of uh, A4 printouts on my poster work so that somebody who comes up to the poster is interested and I'm not there is able to access some information and get hold of me if they want to chat about it further. One thing to watch out for is that at conferences that I go to, um, often there's a poster session. And in order to get your research into the conference journal proceedings, you have to be present during your poster presentation allocated time slot. You know, so you actually have to physically be there or be online at the right time in order to qualify for your poster research to be able to go into the conference proceedings. Now, that could just be something at the conferences that I'm going to, they're kind of the physics based conferences that I'm attending. And um, let me know, do you have to physically be at your conference poster session? in order to get into the conference proceedings book. Um, and actually the conference proceedings is again another topic that we should probably chat about because sometimes I do put my research into conference proceedings and sometimes I elect not to. Um, and I do that on purpose if I'm trying to put that research into a, a peer-reviewed journal. Sometimes I can't put it into the conference proceedings 
otherwise it will duplicate the information. Um, and that is a really, really important topic that I will save for a future video. But let me know, do you have a preference? Do you prefer a poster? Do you prefer a presentation? Um, are you just pleased to get into the conference at all? You know, which is your preferred, I guess, style of communicating your research? Um, let me know in the comments. Have a really good week. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you next Monday for another academic video. Bye.